What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back with another reaction. We're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 15 for Glee. Last episode was probably the best episode I've seen so far for Glee. Um, just an all-around great one. Um, heartbreaking as heck. Especially with everything with Krowski and, you know, him trying to kill himself and um, everything he was dealing with and with how we were seeing it with him and then him and Blaine going back and forth, Blaine delivering the freaking breathtaking performance. But that was such a, a well-done scene in such a well-done episode. Uh, we, of course, also had Quinn at the end. We had the wedding almost happen. Quinn getting crushed uh, in the car accident. And I'm just hoping she's alive. I, I, that was horrible. Um... And that was a heck of an ending to the episode for sure. But the performances were brilliant last episode. Um, here's to us. Freaking phenomenal. Uh, Rachel definitely did her thing on that. Stronger with all the girls was really good as well. And then the fly, I believe I can fly mashup they did. Brilliant freaking stuff. Um, Sebastian was a nice surprise in the last episode as well. Put all his, you know, ridiculous Sebastian ways aside. Um, and just everything was dedicated to Krowski. And uh, I did love that from him. But, yeah, last episode, we can go on and on about it. It was, it was truly a special one for Glee. But we're ready for this one. Full reactions will be over on my Patreon page. A link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube if you want to check that out. Feel free to hit the link and do so. But with that being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. So do you think if Quinn hadn't gotten into her accident, we still would have gone through with the wedding? Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. I'm kind of glad we're waiting. It doesn't have to be a... Just I'm pretty glad. Quickie. Hey, I was thinking since Nationals are in Chicago this year... I'm not glad about Quinn. We should think about her. She's... Right behind you. What? Oh. Brown pages in the airbook. But by the grace of God, I'm here. This is the happiest day of my life. Come on, Artie. Artie, sit in the choir room. All right. Back to stage. Oh, the only light that shines from you. You'll wind up like the wreck you had. Found. You think this book can never win? Well, look at me. I'm coming back again. And stand better than I ever did. Looking like a true uh, survivor. It's a song. I love everyone's face. Here's a lesson for your board, Mr. Shu. Don't text and drive, ever. It's the stupidest thing I've ever done, besides sleeping with Puck. Clear the air. <laughs> it's first usually of all, first. All my plumbing still works, which is awesome. But my spine was severely compressed in the car accident, which basically means I can't move my feet or legs. With a lot of physical therapy and your prayers, I stand a good chance for full recovery. So no tears. That means you, Tina. I promise that by the time we go to the glad you're freaking here, Quinn. I'll be out of this chair and believe dancing it. on that stage. I believe it. I believe it. Oh, oh, oh. I understand what you just told me. I said, I'm making swim coach Roz Washington co-coach of the Cheerios. How can you do I this? I love it. You're 15 minutes late. That's unacceptable. I had a doctor's appointment. Oh, I know. The doctor had to shine a flashlight in your JJ to get all the bats to fly out. I understand. They keep him having a baby when you're older than God. But it is no way to win a national championship. Sue. The lovely and talented Bronx. I love it. We're about to get more time with her. Point, we need them to stand. And you know what else is going to stand? Your fully grown adult baby. When he pops out of your birth canal, before he hurries off to the high power law firm where he has just made a partner. So take your Centrum Silver and your old ass and find a new dream. You won a oh. national championship. And how would you do that? The Glee Club. If they win at Nationals, this school wins a $10,000 cash prize. I get you that money, I get to run the cheerleading program alone. Stop! Please 
Yeah, what's Trump doing? This is an embarrassment. Texting anyone? I'm donating to the Obama campaign. Oh, 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 my joy. Good news, I booked a tour at the railroad. Be late. And when you're not too busy texting, you're complaining about the choreography. You're too lazy to learn. You're nothing but a coven of tardy narcissists. Damn, it's about to go back to the Arkansas. Who will stab you forever? Back, hosted by a late night horror movie host. Well, those days are over. Sue, so, we need to talk about what happened at movie camp. You mean my epic smackdown of the Glee Club? I mean every single second of it, Sue. So it's fucking much. Glee Club's back-to-back -back victories were flukes. Oh, Against vocal adrenaline on the national no, stage, no. you'll be like lambs to the slaughter. Why are you resisting my help, William? We should try to inspire you, and encourage too. our kids first trimester. I'm wildly hormonal, riding out massive, unpredictable mood swings. Stop trying to understand my actions. Maybe you should ask if I'm going there this week to confirm the sex of my daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sue. That's a mother be seeing the most important doctor. You need a friend there for moral support. Well, we'll go. I agree. We'll go with you. Oh, I get to meet the mysterious brother of yours who you refuse to talk about. I'm dying to know what he looks like. Oh, trust me, you, you already know what he looks like. Hey! Hey, Coop! I get the bag from the free credit rating today.com commercials! Guilty as charged. No, you're smart! Free credit rating today.com! I love those commercials! It jingles my ringtone! Right. Who me, the I hell is that side of the I just needed to tell you. A credit commercial? I'm the mom's fan. Pretty good commercial, though. Our Disney Prince. Great to be back in the Midwest. Yeah, I mean, that's that's why I never really talk about my brother. <laughs> I didn't talk about you, honey. You're the talking to town. You should, should be talking to everyone. Uh, Gershwin, so town. You when you got into your car crash and you were answering my text message, and now we're all sitting here and we're talking about this day that's supposed to be the most amazing and unforgettable day of our high school lives, and we're we're completely ignoring the fact that she's sitting in that chair. Accident. Which you did not cause, by the way, does not define me or ruin our senior year. I meant what I said in the choir room. I'm not going to dwell on this, and neither should any of you, okay? Now, we are ditching as planned. I think we should go to Six Flags. Yeah. The lady for brain has chosen wisely. I think that's the best idea I've journey. heard all year. So after graduation, I'm going to move to L.A. and expand my pool cleaning business. And I want you to be my business partner. With your brains and my jawline, I'm telling you, we'd kill it. We graduate. Respect. I'm going to turn that down. Okay. Disrespectfully. Like, so you were. Thank you, Just because maybe she isn't giving that mm -hmm. fancy school over. You don't get married right now. It's going to happen. My gift to you, which you do not deserve, I give you Porcelain's famous brother. Uh, actually, it's my brother. Cooper Anderson. Tomorrow, at Sue's insistence, I will be teaching a master class in acting for anyone who's interested in becoming successful in the business like me. My brothers are very talented. I'm sure that there were many a family holiday where the two of you maybe did a little duet by the piano. Actually, it's funny that you should mention famous. I want to hear, I want to hear. For Let's go! For our Simon Le Bon impressions. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, play what do you say. How about a little Duran Duran? Is that okay? We're not going to say anything. Yeah. Right. We're going to sing it. Come on, let's go! Dark in the city, night is a war. like a robot. Hey! I was really great in that number. You got carried. Cheers. Bless you. Why do you do that? The service industry is a great place to try out new accents. Keeps your instrument from getting rusty. Use Pitchy on Rio and your moves lack a theme, though. Uh, my theme was dancing, I guess. You have to give in to it. Stanislavski says the fingers are the eyes. Perfect. You're unbelievable. What are you, what are you doing? What? All you ever do is tell me what I'm doing wrong. You, you waste no opportunity to remind me. He's doing so much it. right. Oh, brother, I know there's an age difference between us, but I really want to be closer to you. I want to get to know you a little better. What? 
I would love that. I, I, I like that. Great. So you're going to come to my master class tomorrow, right? Right. Yeah, sure. Great. Of course. Cheers. I'm just going to go to the front of the school. That ramp is nice and gentle. Quinn for Bray. Come on, Quinn. Do anything. I believe in you. You will. Uh, 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 I like iron. Come on, you can do it. The street. Push. Uh, Great stuff, Marty. <laughs> Helping out. Like oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we made it. Let's stay up here. Stay up. This is one of the hardest love, I've ever really been. freaking love that moment. It's the only senior I'm ever going to have. I completely agree. Which is why I want you to come with me on Friday. I promise you it'll be the most amazing and incredible and inspiring ditch day ever. That's how it is. First thing you're going to want to know, don't go to college. It is a waste of time. Number two, don't go to New York. Theater is lame and Broadway's dead. Real actors do TV and film, which ways without fail turn into a pose. Again. Wow. And again. Oh, and one more time. Oh, yeah. Do next. You gotta figure out is it comedic or is it dramatic? Often it's hard to tell, right? So do what I do. Ask the director is this scene comedic or dramatic? He will know you're an actor who's not afraid to ask the tough questions, right? Why are you writing this stuff? Okay, write it down and burn it. Oh, no, and just to no, burn no, everything no. he says into the fire. He's pointing. And to never, ever when take it in. People are really emotional. They point their fingers a him. lot. What the fuck is he talking not. about? This is terrible advice. Internationally beloved spokesman for the internet's fastest growing credit score website? No. I didn't think so. No. So let's focus in, okay? It's for you. No. I don't normally do this. He's Blaine, though! <laughs> Which means he's perfect. In case you didn't know. Secret to great acting. Great acting. Ignoring whatever the other actor is doing. Eye contact with a scene partner is incredible to show our earplugs. That way, I don't get distracted by what they're doing, and I can focus no on the wonder awesome you're on a fucking credit score commercial a lot of time. Choices I can plan ahead of time. Screaming all my lines! Because I'm really intense, and the things I'm feeling are really intense, because I'm an intense actor! Right? <laughs> Nicholas Cage, right? Oh. Alright guys, so I don't want you to go cray cray, but... I brought in sides, oh, wow. history term, from a little show that I auditioned for last week, called in CIS. No, it's why he's wearing a dress. There's rumor that Sergeant Pembroke was a transvestite. No, Blaine, say that line again, but this time point your finger. But oh. things are serious, a man in a dress is dead. I don't really feel like pointing, Coop, it just feels a little stupid. Well, brother, can't you just support me? I'm sorry, are you talking to me right now? Because I can't tell if you're talking to me if you don't point your finger. Somewhere right? Out. That is lesson number one. Oh my god. I've right? so been slapped. I'm going to LA. To end the discussion. Let me just say this and I'll shut up forever. Getting hitched is a team effort. Why are you doing this on this team up everything? Maybe it's time for Rachel to start thinking about you for a change. She's famous for other LA's where it's at. Rachel could probably get on TV, play the quirky next door girl or whatever. And you could try acting too. Or go to college. This could be your day job. Focus. The thought of a boy clinging to my insides is making me even more nauseous. So maybe you should wait to find out the sex of the baby. Oh, so boys aren't so bad anyway. <laughs> oh my god. They've kissed the father? Uh, no, no. God, no. Uh, these are... These are my friends. <laughs> Who said hell no? So weird coming out. So made it very clear. Support? Yes, exactly. Anything you have to and say... And Will just had to stand there. Okay. The baby is a girl. <gasps> oh my <laughs> And a boy. <laughs> and a girl, and a boy. We're getting quadruple. Your amnio came back with irregularities. Oh. He's entitled, which you know is code for Transformers 4. That <laughs> seemed very happy for me. Oh, I'm thrilled. Well, you got a weird way of showing it. I wouldn't kill you to smile. I also wouldn't kill you to stop letting Kurt not fucking point. We can't hear you, bro. It does not <laughs> anymore. Huh. After all you put me through. Right now, dude. Loving this one, Blade. Hey, it's me. Fire! 
Right, Blaine? This is incredible! Get out of the park, Blaine. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, man. Woo! How can you not pay attention to that? You know, luckily enough, the guy that cries out. What? Why? Because we have a super special senior ditch day planned. Party Abram style. Isn't that right, party? That's right. Jackson, spit it out. I heard about your baby. You did? Yeah. I heard you have a baby girl. Like you. Hey, coat, do start like Can I give you a parody tip? Sure. Try to work on your patience. A hell of a tip. You know what we're doing here? Just follow me, it's up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is this? We're this going is crazy, we're going that's what this is. I don't think I'm ready for this. There you are. Just trust me. Ice is so terrifying to roll with. It's slight fear, but I'll get on him now. That's the worst part right there. I'm enjoying this so much. Fun song, like fun times everyone's had. It's all about happy times. It's really great senior dish. Temporary. The doctor said it's a matter of time before. Look, I've been where you are. I know how it feels, but you can't keep denying. I'm not denying anything. You're not me, okay? This isn't my life. I'm going to Yale. I'm getting out of Lima. And I'm gonna walk again. And what if you don't? When are you gonna stop pretending that this isn't really happening to you? you gotta get to class. Can I walk with you? I've been praying for you. I guess it could help for God to hear from a few people. I'm prepared for you to walk. I just gotta help you accept whatever your journey may be. I appreciate your prayers. I do. You're really inspiring. And I feel like you'd be inspiring to a few other people I know. What are you doing after school today? I a friend to join us. You met him Valentine's Day? Jesus! Just got a killer voice. Okay, all right. Welcome to the new nope. Please don't ask me which celebrity is the father of my baby, please. I will release that information once I finalize my book and movie deal. I'm just dying God, it's, to come to my, it's in my DNA to be intense, okay? Just like it's in porcelain's DNA to poop rainbow glitter. Now, I admit, I, I hate that here for two very important reasons. Number one, Mr. Schuster needs at least one adult friend. And number two, I mean, I'm yeah. having life growing inside of me can soak up some of your constantly annoying, though admittedly laudable, optimism and decency. Promise to be nicer. If you promise to work your talented little butts off until they hand you that first place trophy in Chicago. That's right, over here, right, Blaine? Let's take it from the top. Oh, good that you do. That is just My way too adorable. Was proof. <laughs> you, since there's no convincing you coming with us. I would have just brought you guys down. Look, I get it. Never do that, Finn stuff is hard. Um, Blake could be in the worst movie ever. I mean, Finn and I aren't even real brothers, and we pretty much disagree on everything. Like the roller coaster. But I love the big mm -hmm. log. I'm talking to him. Doesn't doesn't really work with him. Maybe talking is not the answer. Maybe you need to show him how you really feel in the best, most honest way you know how. Bring it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Said that we would still be friends, but you didn't have to cut me off. Oh, God, perfection. Treat me like a stranger, and I feel so rough. No, you didn't have to get to change your number. Guess that I don't need that. I think of all the times you screwed me over. I don't want to live that way. Read it into every word you need. Go. Chills, chills from that, chills.
wonderful performance. I am tough on you. Blaine! This week, Megan, a little tougher than I should be. As successful as you can be, Blaine, and you will be. You're gonna do it all. Movies, concerts. Whatever Blaine wants to do. Broadway. Blaine got it. Even though it's the dead. You're resurrected. I'm kidding. You're saying that, Coop. And I know you really mean it, too, Coop. because you weren't pointing your finger at me in <laughs> okay. okay. Speaking okay. really loudly. Intense. I love it. You got canceled. What? I don't know. Apparently, Michael Bay just decided to go in a different direction, which is industry speak for a thanks, but we found somebody who's better. All screw Optimus Prime. They all think they're all living in the same town. I don't oh see God. each other all the time. <laughs> We're friends, too. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I've always wanted us to be. Yes. Yes! Sorry, I just uh, I want to remember this emotion so I can use it in the scene someday. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the table so Michael Bay can see what real acting is. Pointing. A nice touch. See, I believe that. Got it. Got That's down and learned. Have you thought about what I'm gonna do in New York? Well, one thing I know is for certain is we'll figure it out together. Yeah, that's really nice, but I I feel like I need to start thinking seriously about what's next for me. Opportunities for me there. And, and Puck, he's got this really great pool cleaning business opportunity. And you could audition as I heard Puck, I'd cut him off. And like, you wouldn't have to worry about money because I, I'd be able no. to support you. Okay. I'm thinking about my future. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, did you do that? It was our future. Of course, of course it is. Okay. It's our future, but I just feel like the conversation's been a little... One sided an actress. Hollywood actress, okay? New York New York is about the work that you do and not the work that you've had done. There's no other option for me here, okay? I'm Broadway bound. But you don't care about my dreams. I care, of course I of care. Of course you care, as long as they don't interfere oh, with your looks. I need to be in New York. I want you to be really sure that you're in love with me and not who you want me to be. There we have it, guys. Season 3, episode 15 of Glee. Um, I enjoyed it. We got some solid things. Blaine's brother was something else. Uh, but his character was really funny. And his acting class and literally all of his advice was... Uh, it was pretty hilarious and made for some of the best stuff of the episode. Um, we have him, Blaine, having their issues. They had them freaking forever um as we see but all this leads to the phenomenal performance of fighter by blaine where he got into it it was steamy it was brilliant and yeah it was so good by blaine and then uh, of course we had somebody that i used to know by both of them as well um which was probably my favorite of the episode loved the song the, their voices sounded incredible. Loved the moment that came after that uh, between the brothers. And yeah, we just got some solid stuff from them. And I really love, I really love that performance of somebody that I used to know going right in my playlist. And I mean, it's only right that we give both of the Anderson bros MVP. I uh, loved everything we got from them, but we also enjoyed the stuff with Quinn and Artie. Um, Quinn, Quinn is alive, first of all, which, you know, I'm happy about. But she's dealing with some changes, and having Artie there to help was perfect. Um, and I did. I really enjoyed their performances together as, as well, and just everything we got from Quinn and Artie was good. And then, of course, we had everyone else, you know, riding the roller coasters, having the time of their life. Enjoyed that whole moment of everyone just having the the good time and it just, just made me feel happy when I was watching that. So definitely um, enjoyed that and enjoyed everything from Quinn and Artie too. Uh, we can go ahead and call off the wedding with, with freaking Finn and Rachel. Um, what a rough ending for them. Rough ending scene. Uh, we got freaking Finn. Thinking about Callie, his future with Puck. Um, and he ended us off with the devastating line of, I need you to be sure you're in love with me, not who you want me to be. Um, and that's where we leave it. And it was pretty brutal. 
Um, but yeah, solid episode though, guys. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Thank you all for watching. We're out.